many of you are out there. Don't know if any of you are listening. But if you are, hang in there. We're coming for you. So at the end of Season 9, Episode 16, the finale to Season 9, like people said, there was a mystery voice on the radio, and it wasn't Rick. We know it's not Rick because in the subtitles it says a woman's voice. So that's when you watch this episode with AMC, the subtitles that AMC put on the screen is woman's voice. But just because it says woman's voice, it doesn't mean it necessarily has nothing to do with Rick. Michonne will leave in season 10, and the only reason she would leave is if she has some sort of confirmation that Rick is still alive. We've seen her look, we've seen her search. Never has she had to leave the show to go and do it, so she needs some sort of token of confirmation, of guarantee, that Rick is alive. So I'm going to go through all the people I think it could be, all the people that it wouldn't be, but I'm going to look at all people's theories with an unbiased point of view so that I know I can look at this in both ways. So the first one, are the Fear the Walking Dead characters ever going to go into the main show and is this the start of it? In the trailer for season 5, which was really, really good by the way, we see every single main character in season 4, they're going around helping people. The whole point of season 5 is Morgan pushing his agenda forward to help people that need it. But we also see in the trailer how difficult it is to maintain this. Of course, this time frame in Fear the Walking Dead is in time with the first half of season 9. But after Rick left the show, there was at least a 3 to four year time jumps so would they still be doing this radio plan all these years after it's definitely likely i know next week scott gimbal is announcing some sort of big spin-off detail but of course we know we're getting this michael cudlitz abraham spin-off and with morgan and dwight being in fear now does this mean this radio call is the fear characters contacting the walking dead characters to then come over to the main show or vice versa it's definitely likely if we look at the females in the show because of course we have to refer to the female woman's voice i was heard on the radio we're looking at jude alicia which one of these characters could it be? And does it sound like any of them? Well, to me, if it's going to be any of these characters, it's going to be Sarah. We saw she had a walkie-talkie, and she's the truck driver. And if we listen to the radio again... It definitely has a more southern voice, a more southern accent. So if this is from Fear the Walking Dead, who could it be? Which one of these characters could it be? Probably Sarah. Now, is it likely? I mean, there's nothing to say it isn't at the moment. Now the next one. Is it Jadis? Of course, to me, this is the only thing that would really relate it to Rick. I don't think anyone from the organisation he's going to would be sending out any kind of radio signals to strangers. They were extremely discreet, and Jadis barely had contact with them. But of course, she did use a walkie-talkie to talk to them, so we'd have to assume this is how they find individuals. However, they seem to only strike people when they're by themselves. So I don't see them accidentally reaching into Hilltop's community and alerting all these people. Obviously that didn't happen, they didn't alert all these people. How would they know that Judith left the room? How would they know Ezekiel didn't hear it? I do not think this is Jadis. It doesn't really make much sense that after all those times Jadis was trying to get taken away by these people, she would go to so much effort to get back in contact with them. Of course she would try and get back in contact with them before Rick, but why isn't Rick doing it himself? And in terms of Michonne leaving the show, what would make her leave? It would have to be a specific location shown to Michonne where she knows exactly where Rick is. Because she's been searching. For years she was searching for Rick. She never had to leave the show. They just showed us what happened in the past. So unless she all of a sudden in season 10 feels a random urge to go miles and miles and miles away from the communities, don't think you have to worry about never seeing Rick in the show again. I 100% believe you're going to get some sort of hint at Rick's whereabouts in the main show, not just an announcement. I do believe the characters have to know some sort of whereabouts, some coordinates. Yeah, as far as Jadis being on the radio, I really, really don't think it is. Now, the next and final one actually comes under three people because they all come under the three people. People seem to be pointing this radio call at. It sounds like Maggie. It's probably Stephanie. And it's for Georgie. For those of you that don't know or don't remember, in season eight, Maggie and a few other females encountered someone called Georgie. He gave Maggie a book. And long story short, Maggie wanted to go there. Georgie told Maggie how she could be a leader. And so Maggie's disappearance means she most probably went to where Georgie is. And where is Georgie? Well, she is probably the leader of the Commonwealth. It's almost confirmed. In the comics, the leader of the Commonwealth is called Pamela, which is why I think it's a bit cryptic. We don't actually know if maybe she isn't the leader of the Commonwealth. She certainly looks like her. But I think the whole reason they changed the name from Pamela to Georgie in the show is so that fans don't automatically know where the story is going to end up. Where 
characters are going to go because of course the commonwealth story arc in the comics is real they met pamela the name change is wise because we don't want people automatically assuming that every missing character is going to go straight to the commonwealth let's listen to this radio one more time this time with enhanced volume and clearer audio I think this part especially really, really sounds like Maggie. Of course, it would make sense. The show needs to tie this loose end. Maggie just went. I don't know what this means for the show, whether Maggie would return or she would just appear with the Commonwealth, but I do think this is Maggie. However, there is one really obvious thing that I haven't spoke to you about yet, though. A character called Stephanie first appears in issue 151 as a voice on Eugene's radio. Stephanie is an engineer. She is a radio operator, which is why if you googled Stephanie right now, you would only get literally about five pictures of this character because she almost always appeared as a voice on a radio. When she talks to Eugene, she's the first to reveal where the Commonwealth is, and it's in Ohio. And of course, Ohio is right near Virginia, where The Walking Dead is set. That's how we know this helicopter isn't going to the Commonwealth because we wouldn't need a helicopter to go from Virginia to Ohio. But with Stephanie being a radio operator for the Commonwealth, it is really, really likely that this is Stephanie's voice voice on the radio. And if not, it's Maggie. It wouldn't be Georgie. I don't see the leader of the Commonwealth talking on the radio herself. So now I've told you all the people it could be. I've skipped the unrealistic ones like Clementine because I just think that's silly. I think she's going to stay in that comic universe. Of course, I, I'm a strong believer that all comic characters have their own self in the TV universe, but that's for another video. Now I've told you the three people and places it could be. What do you think? Do you think the voice on the radio were characters from Fear? Do you think this is people from the Commonwealth? Or do you think this is someone like Jadis? Do you think this is Rick? Do you think this is relating to where Rick is and what's going to happen to Rick? Click on the eye icon on the top right of the screen and you can vote in the poll and have your voice heard. And of course, make sure you comment down below. I really, really want to hear what you think. Some videos will pop up on your screen in about 10 seconds make sure you check them out there's some really interesting ones some theories you might want to check out make sure you subscribe so that you are the first to hear about the walking dead thanks for watching <laughs>